Welcome to um, Dividing Decimals Day 2. So we're on our second day of Dividing Decimals. Our I can statement for today is today I can use basic facts to approximate, approximate decimal quotients with two-digit divisors reasoning about the placement of the decimal point. So let's take a look at an application problem. So our application problem for today is Ms. Hines spent $12 on 30 bus tokens for the field trip. What was the cost of 12 tokens? Okay, so we're looking at she has $12 that she spends on 30 bus tokens. What was the cost of 12 tokens? So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write 12 divided by 30 and solve for that. So go ahead and write on your boards 12 divided by 30. Okay, so you should have 12 divided by 30 written on your board. And when I see this problem, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my goodness, 30 is a big number and I don't know how to divide 12 by 30. Well, let's decompose this 30 into three and 10. 3 times 10 is 30, so that's how I did that. And then I can look at this 3 and say, well, I know 3 is a multiple of 12. So 3 times 4 gives me 12. But I'm not done here, so I use that 3. Now I have to take 4 divided by 10. And yesterday we learned that if I divide anything by 10, that means I'm shifting my decimal one place to the left. So that will give me four tenths. Or in terms of money, that would mean that my to each token costs 40 cents. But now we're not done with this problem because what this problem is asking is the cost of 12 tokens. So now we need to take four tenths and multiply that by 12 to get $4.80. So that would be the answer to this problem. Now we're going to look at estimating using these numbers. So go ahead and write 39 and 1 tenth divided by 17 on your whiteboards. And then I'm going to switch my screen so you can follow along. Okay, so these are the numbers that you should have written on your board from the PowerPoint. So it's 39 and 1 tenth divided by 17. So we are going to work at estimating. So this symbol right here means approximant, which means you are going to be estimating. So when looking at 39 and 1 tenth, if I were to estimate this number to the nearest whole number, an easier number for me instead of 39, because 39 is kind of not a fun number to work with, I'm going to round this up to 40. And then 17, since 17 is not a very fun number to work with, I'm going to round this up to 20 and then looking at these numbers so 40 and 20 those are much easier numbers to work with because that is the same as dividing 4 and 2 and now we know 4 divided by 2 is going to give us Two. So let's work through this again. So I had 39 and 1 tenth. If I were to estimate that to help me make it a better number for me to work with, I would estimate it to 40. And then I estimated 17 to be around 20. And then 40 divided by 20 is 2. So our estimated or approximate answer is going to be around 2.
going to look at 3 and 91 hundredths divided by 17. So we just moved our decimal point over one to the left for this one. Um, so go ahead and write 3 and 91 hundredths divided by 17 on your whiteboards. And then I will switch over to my whiteboard. Okay, so I have 3 and 91 hundredths. Sorry, it's taking forever to focus. 3 and 91 hundredths divided by 17 written on my whiteboard. I'm going to use estimating again with my numbers. So I am going to say 3 and 91 one hundredths is close to about 4. And then I'm going to look at 17 and think of a number that would be divisible Um, so I'm going to round that up to 20. So these are much easier numbers to work with. So what I would do now is I would look at this and say, um, well, 4 divided by 20, that's kind of tricky. How could I make this easier for myself? So one way that I could make this easier is I could look at moving my decimal point over and making this 4 tenths divided by 2. So what I did is I divided both of these by 10 and shifted that decimal over. So now I have 4 tenths divided by 2 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. I have my decimal up here so now I have 2 tenths as my answer. So for our problem before, if you remember, our answer was 2 but then this answer is 2 tenths which would make sense because we were working with 39 and 1 tenth on our other problem to get to, but now we have a smaller number that we're dividing. So we have 3 and 9 tenths. So our decimal just shifted 1, 2, 3. Now I want for you to try this one on your own and use your whiteboard or a scratch piece of paper. So you will be working with 63 and 6 tenths divided by 73. So go ahead and write that on your whiteboard or scratch piece of paper. Okay, so you should have 63 and 6 tenths divided by 73 written on your whiteboard. Go ahead and practice estimating like we did in the other problem. So go ahead and pause this video and practice this one on your own. If you still are not getting it, then go ahead and continue on with this video and you can follow along with me. So how would we do this one? Well, one way I could look at this is I could say 63 and six tenths. Well, I could make this 63 and divide it by mm, 70. So those are easier numbers for me to work with. But then now I need to look at how I could make these easier numbers for me to work with. Well, if I wanted to make this even so if I wanted to shift my decimal, let's try that, then it would be 6.3 divided by 7. Ooh, okay, so 6.3 divided by 7. Well, that's the same as 63 tenths. Oops, let's retry this. Okay, so you should have 63 and 6. 
last one that we are going to practice today one that we are going to practice today before you work on your practice page is going to be this one. So now I want you to write six in 36 hundredths on your whiteboard or scratch piece of paper and divide that by 73. Go ahead and try this one on your own as well and then you can check it using the video later on. I have written down six in 36 hundredths divided by seven we are still going to be estimating. So I'm going to say that's about six and three tenths. I know usually we'd say, well, I would round up, but when we're thinking about this conceptually, we're looking for numbers that are easier factors to work with. So 63 and seven has a factor in common, which is nine. So that's why I rounded it to three. So, now I have 70. I'm going to say, oh, I'm sorry, this should be 73. I jumped ahead. 73, it's not a decimal. So that would be 70 because that is an easier number to work with. So going back to what I just said, I made this 6.3 and I made this 70 because I know that 63 and 70 have a factor in common. So those are much easier numbers to work with. That is how I use these numbers to estimate. 